place with such history and, and the history of this space and the people who lived here and the traditions of the people, the Jews and, and by extension all the other people, the old believers and the Roma and the Lithuanians and the Poles and all the people, we feel their presence. And this is part of what uh, Pogranica Fondatia has always been aware of. for the, the musicians of the orchestra who live here. I mean, they're in and out of this synagogue <laughs> as much as any Jew who would be praying in a synagogue in New York. They're here two, three, four times a week. So, is to allow ourselves to connect with the history. It's an opportunity. We don't have to, we'll play good music. We could play good music if we were playing in the pizzeria across the street or on the stage at a festival, we'll, we will play good music. But if we allow ourselves to, to think about the history of this space and all the history, both great and terrible at the same time, then those thoughts can inform our playing of music, our creation of music, and can inspire us and give what we do extra layers of depth. It's not a necessarily given that, oh, of course, you feel this way because you're in this place, but it's an opportunity. And if we allow ourselves to do that and feel that, then we elevate ourselves and we elevate the music and we elevate the work of everyone here in Saini and Krasnogruda who are trying to constantly, constantly negotiate history and the present and the future. And the place is one of the many things that helps us to, to do that, to negotiate past, present, and future. to have the opportunity here in Saini to um, make arrangements and perform a couple of songs that have recently uh, come to 
uh, light in a collection that uh, was um, made in the 1970s of uh, field recordings of Yiddish folk songs. The songs were collected in, in New York City uh, for the most part. Some of them were collected in uh, Canada, in Toronto. These songs were collected from s uh, traditional folk singers whose uh, repertoires were everything from liturgical music to theater songs to folk songs that people are not don't know what the origin is. It's interesting because the people, the people who were um, singing the songs of, of these on these uh, recordings on these tapes, were all people, were all immigrants. They're all people who came from somewhere else, and part of their their um, heritage that they brought with them were their songs. So it's interesting that they were able to kind of take with them, uh, you know, these these gems of of, of songs. Uh, and that they were uh, preserved in that way. There's an interesting paradox. I know it's present in me. I don't know about everyone else. Part of me wants to always romanticize the past. And part of me doesn't believe that we should romanticize the past at all. We love the tradition, we respect the tradition, we feel through the tradition everything that has happened historically, and, and at the same time we know that to really keep the traditions alive, the way to do it is to bring them forward into the present. <laughs>